Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, very good. Can you tell me about your day? Uh, How was your day? Is it was it is it okay? Did you go to school? Yes, I still go to school half a day. Oh, half a day. Uh huh. Very good. And how was school? Is it fun? Did you enjoy going to school? Yes. yes. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I study to 4 p.m. Oh, did you study at 4 p.m.? Yes. Okay. Wait. Okay, we got a new lesson today. Remember? We are done with yes. the passive voice. That is very nice. Because we are done with the passive voice. Now, let us start with a new lesson. So our our unit two lesson one is about past participle. Okay, are you already familiar with past participle? Yes. Very good. Okay, so what? Uh, how to use past participle? Can you read? Oh, can you see it? No. No? How about this one? Can you tell me how to use past participle? Use for present perfect tense. Past, per past perfect tense. Future perfect tense. Okay, very use good. Continue. Use for object. That use is for adjective. Use for adjective. Okay. Use, use for reduced related clause. Clauses. Clauses. Okay, very good. Okay, so can you tell the distribution? Can you tell me about the distribution? The distribution? Uh regular verb most verbs have their past participle from the form ending in ed in regular verb use in regular verbs okay that is very good okay okay can you tell me now about regular verb can you read a bullet? Yes. Most verbs have their past participle form ending in ed. Uh, example. Yes. Work. Hot. Played. Uh -huh. Most. Most verbs have form ending e to remove e and add ed. Okay. Complete. Liked. Completed. Completed. Like it. No, um, Most verbs. Like. Completed. Like. Like. Yes. Okay. Most, most verbs have form ending Y to remove Y to IE and add ED. Okay. Right. Okay, very good. Verbs have form ending co consonant before the consonant is the vowel. We will have to double the consonant and add ed. Stopped, rubbed, 
Okay, did you get it? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, oh, there's a chicken. Okay, there, <laughs> there are verbs that is ending in ed, and there are also verbs that ends in letter e. If you can find the letter e, verbs that are or verbs that are end. We got a lot of chicken. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you can also see verbs that are ending in E, you just simply add the letter D. Uh-huh. And if you can find the letter Y, change Y to I and add ED. Uh-huh. And if you can see verbs that are consonant, but before the consonant is a vowel, you must double the consonant and add ed. Okay, so how about the next one? How about the irregular verbs? Can you see the irregular verbs? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. And, okay. Okay, can you read? B was were been. Next. Became. Become. Next. Began. 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 Next. Continue. Right. Bit. Bitten. Bleed. Bled. Bled. Brick. Broke. Broken. Bring, brought, brought. Build, built, built. Buy, bought, bought. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, came, come. Cost, cost, cost. Cut, cut, cut. Dig, dug, dug. Do, did, done. Drink, drank, drunk. Try, trough, driven. Eat, it eaten, fall fell fallen, feed fed fed, feel felt felt, fight felt felt, find found found, forget forgot forgotten, get got got, give gave given, go went gone, grow grew grown. Hang, hang, hang. Half, hat, hat. Hear, hurt, hurt. Hide, hit, hidden. Hit, hit, hit. Hold, held, held. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Keep, kept, kept. No, new, known. Leave, no. left, left. Lend, lent, lent. Let, 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 lose, lost, 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 make, made, made, meet, met, met, pay, paid, paid, put, 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 read, 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 write, wrote, wrote, written, ring, rain, run, run, ran, run, say, said, said. See, saw, seen. Sell, sold, sold. Sent, sent, sent. Set, set, set. Show, show, show. Sit, sat, sat. Sleep, slept, slept. Speak, spoke, spoken. Spend, spent, spent. Swim, swam, swam. Take, took, taken. Teeth, taught, taught. Tell, told, told. Think, thought, thought. Roll through, phone. Understand, understood, understood. Where, were, worn. Win, won, won. Write, wrote, written. Okay, very good. So these are the past participle of the irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are a lot. So 
you must familiarize. I will just I will save this first, so you can familiarize. Okay, very. Good. Let's move to the next. Okay, complete the following sentences using an appropriate present or past participle form. Number one, there was a blank in the quake. Uh, the house was damaged in the quake. Again, what's the manage? <laughs> Again, the house was the manage in the week. That is damage. That is damage or damaging. Okay, so your answer is letter A. Let us. Let us know. Why can I choose an answer? Okay, can you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. Okay, so so your answer was correct. Number two, I was blank by the way she spoke to me. I. I. I, I was annoyed by the way she spoke to me. Okay, very good. Can you see the Batman and the Penguin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're very cute. <laughs> okay, next. Number three, she has blank better days. She has seen better days. Okay. Ding. How about number four, Marathi is blank in the Deccan. Uh... Marathi is spoke in the Deccan. Are you sure it is spoke or it is spoken? <laughs> can you read the uh, Can you read the sentence with it, with your chosen answer? Marathi is spoke in the Deccan. Mm. Do you think it is right? What do you think? Is it spoke? Are you sure about that? I don't know. What's your final answer? Spoke? Uh. <laughs> it is. Okay, can you now read Marathi is spoken in the Deccan? Marathi is spoken in the Deccan. Okay, very good. Next. Oh, that was all. Okay. That was just a quick review. <laughs> that was just a quick review. Uh-huh. So, let's try to open some. Okay. So, let's find another. Can you tell me more about, um, do you have any questions? Hello? Yes. What is your question? How many chickens do you have? Oh, we get lots of chicken. My father loves chicken. I guess four or five. Yes. How about you? Do you have chickens in your home? No. No. Um, what is your pet? Do you have a pet in your home? No, don't have any pet. Don't you have any? Um, why not? Why not? Uh, I know. 
Your mom doesn't like animals? Uh, she's very like, but, um... Oh, again, what? She likes animals? Yes. Yes? Oh, and why don't you have any animals? Because when... How about your father? Uh, <laughs> she, he doesn't like a bit. Oh, so your father doesn't like pets. Mm, a bit like a little bit okay mm -hmm. that explains maybe you when you grow maybe when your brother grew older you can have a pet maybe that's because of your older um your younger brother yeah some small kids are allergic to um animals hair and to prevent you to to prevent you from biting, to prevent animal bites like that. Can you understand? Yes. Yes, okay. So that was very nice of you too. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our lesson two is present perfect tense. Are you familiar with present perfect tense? Um, maybe? I, I just learned last week. Yes, well, that is passive. Del, that is the passive voice of present perfect tense. How about this one? Present perfect tenses. Number one objective is the usage, the forms, and the signals. Okay, let's let's learn. Okay, can you read? I don't see. Oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't see. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> usage. 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 Okay. Usage. 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 Okay. Very good. One for an action that started in the past and continues until the present. Okay. So what does that mean? Can you tell me about that? Yes. Wow. For an action that started in the past and continues until the present. What does that mean? Can you tell me? Do you have an idea? Uh, idea of what? <laughs> Do you have an idea with this? For an action that started in the past and continues until the present. What does that mean? I don't Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea about that? Example, okay. Can you read the example? I have lived here for five years. Oh. He has been at the library since three o'clock. Okay. So, does that, um, does that explain this one? Does that explain this for an action that started in the past and continues until the present? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? <laughs> Translate what? Translate okay. what? Oh, I said yes or no. <laughs> Okay, for an action that started in the past and continues until the present. Mm -hmm. I think you can understand that. That is base. Okay, so next, usage. Can you read? 
for an action that happens in undivided time in the past. The exit time is unknown or unimportant. What is important is the present results of action. Okay, again, can you read indefinite? Indefinite. Definite. Okay, indefinite. Uh -huh. For an action that happened at an indefinite time in the past, the exact time is unknown or unimportant. What is important is the present result of the action. Okay, I have eaten at that restaurant before. He has finished his, what is this? He has finished his homework. Yes, they don't know when, uh, when or what time they have eaten at the restaurant or they did the homework. But as long as they have already done it, then that is important. Then that's what's matter, okay? Okay, so that is the that is the usage of, that is the usage as of the what is this past present? It started in the past and still happens in the future. I mean, still happens in the present. How about this one? Can you read? For experience, I have eaten king crab twice. He has never gone hiking before. Okay, so I have eaten and he has never gone. Oh, this is ugly. <laughs> okay, I have eaten king crab twice and he has never gone hiking before. Okay, so how about the note? Can you read the note? The present perfect talks about period of time from the past to the present, <clears throat> but never talks about a special time in the past. <clears throat> we use the present perfect for questions about how long, but never for questions about when. Okay, so the present perfect. <clears throat> Okay, so that is the present perfect. Uh huh. It doesn't tell. Take note about this. It doesn't tell about the period. Uh, it tells. It talks about the period of time from the past to present, but it doesn't tell about the specific time in the past. We are using the present perfect. Present perfect for questions about how long, but never questions about when. How long have you been here? I have been here for four hours. It doesn't question what time, um, since what time. It just questions for how long. When did you arrive? I arrive at two o'clock. Okay. okay. What do you have for dinner? Me? Mm -mm. What do you have for dinner? What did you have for dinner? Do you have your... Uh, uh, what? Vegetables? Yeah, okay, vegetables. That is nice. Okay, so let's move on to the forms of the present perfect. Uh-huh. So this is the form or the structure of the present perfect. Can you identify? Have or has plus the verb like that. You are going to use have when this one and use has to finish this one. Remember plural noun and singular noun. Has must be used to a singular noun, while the have must be used to a plural noun. Example, I have been, that is I, I belong here, right? 
I have been to Argentina, and he has been to Argentina. Okay, can you see the word he there? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, remember, when are you going to use have? When we, when when we have. Continue. When we have. I, you, we, they. Or, or, the, or the noun is in plural form. Okay. How about the ass? How about the ass? Um, when we have he, she, it. Or the noun is in? Noun is in singular noun. Oh, so very good. Singular noun and singular noun. Okay. Um, okay, this one. Oh. Positive form. Positive form is subject plus have or has plus the verb and plus object and so on. Example, I is the, is the subject, right? I have been to Argentina. Okay. Okay, so this is the verb, right? This is the verb, right? Yes. Okay, very good. How about in the negative form? Uh-huh. Can you identify the negative form? Can you read the example? I haven't ever been to Argentina. Okay, I haven't ever been to Argentina. They just added the word ever. Mm -hmm. To verb is still uh -huh. there, been. How about in the interrogative form or the question form? Can you read an example? Have you ever been in Argentina? Yes, okay. So, that is the have or has first plus the subject you and the verb been plus so on. Okay, how about in the WH? Remember, the WH comes first in the have or has the subject plus the verb. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very <laughs> clever. Okay. Signals. Mm -hmm. Let's learn about signals. Okay. Can you can you read the signal words? Already. At some time before now, he has already called. Yet, up to now. I'll use it with negative sentences and questions. He has been called yet. Still equals. Still equal yet. It goes before have or has. He still hadn't hasn't called ever at any time up to now. Used with questions and it comes before the past participle. Have you ever been in Rome? Never, at no time, used in affirm affirmative sentences. It comes before the past participle. I have never been to Rome. For plus noun. Uh, time. To talk about how long something has continued up to now. I have lived here for three years since plus noun, noun, time, to talk about when an action began. I have lived here since 2010. Oh, that is yes. number of time. Since plus the number of time. Okay. 
just a very short time ago. It comes before the past participle. I have just eaten. I'm not hungry. Late and recently can come at the beginning of, or the end of a sentence. Have you heard the new lately? Recently, I've heard a lot of good of good news. Okay, that is recently. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Okay, that's very okay. That's okay. That is recently. Recently. Um, don't raise the word T. Recently. Okay. Okay. So again, already has used some time before now. He has already called. Yet, up to now, or used with negative sentence or question. He hasn't called yet. That's it. That is up to now. Still is equal to yet. It goes before have or has. Okay, so that is the, st the structure of still. He still hasn't called. Because sometimes we are confused. Um, you use he hasn't still called like that we mix up um sometimes the word have or hasn't or has comes before the word still next is where at any time up to now used with questions and comes before the past participle have you ever been to rome okay next is never means no time i have never been to rome Use an affirmative. Remember that the word never can only be used in affirmative sentences. It cannot be used in negative sentences. Because if you use, I have not never been to Rome. Okay, that is totally wrong. That is, that is totally wrong. If you use, I haven't... <laughs> haven't never been to Rome. That is that is to, that is totally wrong. Can you, can you see the word? I haven't never been to Rome. That is totally wrong. Because in math, remember, negative plus negative is equals to positive. So the word is up. The word is literally um incorrect. I have never been to Rome. Okay, next. Four plus the number of time means to talk about how long something has continued up to now. I have lived here for three years. Okay, it doesn't end. And next is since plus the number of time to talk about when an action begun. Okay. Um, do not be confused with these two. When you are using the word for, that means you are not talking about um, the day of um, the beginning, um, the date of the beginning. But if you are using the word since, then you must provide the date of the beginning. Okay, to talk about when an action begun. Okay, to talk about I'm, uh, the word for just talks about how long. Next is just a very short time ago. It comes before the past participle, like I have just eaten, not too, not too late, not too soon. Um, just a very short time ago. And next is the late and recently come at the beginning or the end of a sentence. You cannot use the word late and, re and recently in the middle of the sentence. You must put them at the last or at the beginning. Okay? Yes. That is, um, it is really noisy. Okay, so let's practice. Give the correct form 
with the present perfect tense. <sighs> she, she, she hasn't come here for a long time. Remember, the, word, the verb is in the past participle, and the pronoun is she. Okay, let's go back to this one. Where is it? Uh -huh. Where was it? Where did you talk? Where's your mic? Yes. Yet, I suppose. Uh, where is it? I don't see. Okay, how about that? Number two. You haven't. You haven't your project yet. I suppose. Again, you haven't. You What's haven't done okay. your project okay. yet, I suppose. Okay, very good. Next is... She 
has not had any fun a long time. Okay, she hasn't had any fun a long time. Next is my father hasn't played any sports since last year. Okay, very good. My father hasn't worse than mouse. Okay, so my father hasn't played any sports in his past year. Okay, so that will be the next. Can I give you an assignment? Oh. Okay, just this one. Just this one. Oh no, um, one, two, four, and this. Okay. We're going to save this first. I will include your face. <laughs> how long? How long have you? Um, you will how just answer that. Next is this one. Uh. Okay. I'm going to send this to you. Only eight. You're going to answer this and on post it on Facebook on our Facebook page. Okay. You're not going to video what? yourself. You're not going to record yourself. You're just going to um to type the correct answer like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Okay, you're just going to do it like this. You're not oh, going yes. To, yes, you're not going to make a video. Just this one. You're going to write the answer like this. Can you see it? And where? Okay. Yeah, you're just going to add the answer. You're going to put it here. Okay, if you don't know, you can use the Facebook Messenger to add your answers here. Like that, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. So, this is just only one to eight. I am going to send it to you, don't worry. Okay, so that will be all for today. Wait. Okay. So, goodbye, good night. <laughs> Yes, that will be all for today. Um, next meeting, we're we'll going to have an exercise and continue our lesson. Okay, your your assignment is just only one to eight. Uh huh. This is the homework. Yes, this will be your homework. This and this one. This is just easy. Okay, the girl with the umbrella and the facts. Okay. Can you post in the post it in the messenger? Yes, I will just send it in the messenger. Just wait for it, okay? Yes. Okay, this is easy. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Okay, see you on Thursday. Is it? See you on Thursday. Yeah, see you on Thursday. Goodbye. Bye. Yes, and good night. Good night. Yes, thank you so much.